Welp, that was an easy decision. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mocha. I'm here to talk about Resident Evil's spin-off game Umbrella Corp. Umbrella Corp is the new competitive zombie shooter from Capcom. This game, in a nutshell, is all the action from Resident Evil 5 and 6 jammed into what I feel is a rush project. Umbrella Corp, in theory, had a lot of solid ideas I just never really seen to formulate. With detailed customization, creative level design, and competitive one-lifer and team-based online modes, this game could have been something special. Keyword, could have. Where this game fails is in player movement and the overall feel of an actual shooter. As I was playing, the most obvious thing was I never felt as if I was walking. The player's movement felt like I was drifting or floating away. The gun mechanics are off as well. I hate the switch from over the shoulder to scoped. I honestly just hate the over the shoulder that they've really stuck doing. It's, it's way too close to the screen and it really just throws me off. And at times I felt like I had better luck hip firing than actually aiming down my sights. And there's this melee axe, <laughs> it's definitely a cheat in the game. You have the ability to lunge at players and pretty much crack their skull open, and it kind of gave me that Call of Duty Commando Pro feel, which was very annoying. I feel as if Capcom was trying to milk it, if that makes sense. You know, they saw the, the market in the competitive multiplayer field with Call of Duty and the battlefields and the Titanfalls, and they kind of said, hey, you know, maybe we could dip our feet and try it. But no, Capcom, like, I... I get, you know, you want to sometimes step outside the box, step outside of your lane and try different things. And I do applaud you for that, you know, but this just isn't the route to go. The competitive multiplayer Resident Evil thing is just, it's its not, like I said, it's an interesting concept, but it's just not where, it's not what we ask for. It's not what anyone wants. And it's, it's awful. Also, I experienced a decent amount of frame drops, mainly when I was in gun battles with other online players which was a good portion of the game, so that was pretty annoying in itself. The game's single player missions, they felt more like a tutorial on how to play the actual game than actually following a mission. With the goal to obtain samples from zombies, it just, I couldn't get past the fourth mission without wanting a zombie just to bite me and take me out of my misery. The game had a real arcadey feel. You know those games when you go to the arcade, you grab the gun and you just, you shoot the zombies, move on from round to round. That's kind of what I felt like I was doing. So I quickly jumped to the online, which was no better. The game's overall content was just lackluster. You know, trying to find a lobby, there weren't many people actually playing, and I don't blame them. It was a $30 price tag, but honestly, it was just a waste of money. Between the poor gameplay mechanics, the lack of features, and the not-so-competitive multiplayer, this game is dead on arrival. 